Hi everybody, I decided to try a new angle <laughs> so you can see a little bit of my altar. I haven't really showed you guys my altar too much, but um, yeah, so I'm back again with a little short tarot reading that I'm going to be doing, okay? Um, I decided, you know, they asked me to, and that's the thing is that I listen to whatever spirit the divine tells me to do. <laughs> So even though I try to fight back and I really don't want to do it and I give sass, <laughs> they still don't allow me to get away with that. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> okay. But yeah, I don't really know where the direction of this video is going. So I just want to say... Um, you know, to anyone who's new, welcome. My name's Shai Chu, formerly a Cheyenne. Um, I'm just, usually I do readings, it turns into a love reading, you know. I like to touch in base into finances and stuff like that, but for some reason, the way that spirit wants me to go, it always turns into a reading that regards to the twin flame journey. Um, so... I technically channel, I guess, the divine masculine and the divine feminine energy, okay? So, <laughs> uh, and if this, you know, I'm only going to be channeling a particular group, um, so this doesn't mean that it resonates for everyone. So take it um, and, and, you know, what resonates and leave the rest. Um, you know, don't force anything to fit, okay? <laughs> I got to stress that out. Um, and, uh, yeah. So I feel like that's, that's all I need to talk about. Oh my goodness, I already split the deck and then there's the Eight of Wands trying to come out. <laughs> but if you guys seen my previous video, um, I shall link it in, oh wow, communication, possibly someone from the past coming. Um, Either like a, like someone from your past life or someone physically from this past, like this timeline, like this this lifetime. <laughs> so can we, like I said, I don't know why they wanted me to do a reading. Okay, that makes sense. That makes so much sense. Maybe this maybe this has something to do with the signs and. The, synchronicities that I was talking about in my in my previous video um, I talked about so if you feel guided to please watch that video because I feel like that will explain and make more sense to this reading that I'm talking about now okay so I okay Wow, this is actually reverse. I don't read, uh, by the way, I don't read reversals unless I'm asked to, okay? <laughs> I'm still in the work for that. And I just looked at the clock and it's 313. So, fertility. Oh, I wonder what it is. So, spirit, I welcome you guys into my space. Um, I'm only asking loving light, unconditional love and light beings. Spirit guides my angels, my ancestors, the divine creator. Um, please use me as a vessel in order to get out any type of messages that need to be um, told into the collective. Um, please and thank you. So, what is it that uh, I need to know? Or that we need to know? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! I'm sorry. I'm very vulgar. I cuss a lot. So, if you don't like that, then, you know, I'm sorry. But, um... Uh, okay, if you... Okay, you feel guided to... I No, if you don't feel guided to, I am encouraging you... To look at the video that I am listing in my description box below, okay? This has everything to do with what I was talking about. The number 1111 and the union card, okay? I talked about union. Oh my god, I looked at the clock, 414. Oh, and I talked about why fours are important right now. You know, there's four pillars. 1111 um, coming together, two holes coming together into one union. The fact that this is the first card that popped out. Holy shit. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the... The Knight of Cups. So someone wants to come in and offer a cup of love or, an, I don't know, an offer to a new beginning. Or that probably pertains to this, right? Because cup energy could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. When I call signs out, doesn't mean it has to be in your chart. just means that the overall energy of the cards that I'm feeling, okay? Um, yeah. So, 1111, you've been seeing that number? Not only does it mean awakening, 
Um, it also means self-union, so coming to union with yourself. And it also can mean physical union with your counterpart. So, wowzers. <laughs> wowzers. <laughs> All right. So, I'll just put it there. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, all right. There's things trying to pop. Okay. Look at that here. Judgment trying to make its appearance again. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Mother. I'm sorry. I get super excited with readings. Okay. <laughs> so, um, like I, uh, this also pertains to what I've been talking about. The two of swords energy. I channeled this earlier. I talked about people wanting to, they're coming to a crossroads right now and they're having to make a decision. Um, then five, five, five on the clock. And as I was about, okay. As I was about to say that, they want me to point out the five of wands at the bottom of the deck, okay? This represents conflict. This represents um, possible arguments, fights. Um, I don't know. This is this is really heavy negative energy, right? Um, and it could be this decision or whatever could result in possible fighting. I don't know. Either or, there is conflict. This could also be conflict outside, but I feel like this is someone having to make a decision on what route they want to go, whether, you know, if it's karmic, uh, staying on a karmic wheel, or if, it, like I said in my last video, staying in the karmic wheel, um, staying in the karmic life, learning more lessons, or if you want to advance more, ascend more to the divine, you know, um, like all aboard to the Hogwarts train, right? Do you want to stay at home <laughs> in the muggle world or do you want to go to Hogwarts? Like, which one is it? <laughs> so, yeah. So judgment is being made right now. Um, so someone's trying to make a judgment call as far as what, what step I should take. But like, you know, the clarification of the Knight of Cups, one thing that fell out was the Ace of Cups. So like I said, someone wants to bring an offer, a new beginning. This is a cup of love. Someone wants to offer a new beginning in love. And this Knight of Cups here, whoever is this person who has water energy, um, could be coming in. Um, this this could this could cause a conflict with people probably outside of this connection. Honestly, I feel like there's not going to be too, people who are too happy about this union um, that's coming in right here. But I feel like if it's divine and it's meant to be, then who who the fuck cares, right? You know, people. There's going to be people who are not going to agree with your connection. That's just life, all right. And that's one of the things that um, that comes with this connection. There are a lot of people outside of the connection who do not agree with the union between the two uh, divine counterparts. There's a reason for that, um, because when you guys, you know, you guys are powerful in your own right. When you're by yourself, when you're alone on your own journey. However, the amount of power and the amount of uh, loving energy the, the amount of energy that's put out there when two twins are together in union do you know how powerful that is that's like 818 that's magic right magic and when i said 818 i i think of uh the magician card with the infinity sign on top of his head so i just seen the number 818 manifesting a new beginning but there there is going to be people who are not going to agree with it okay but um, part of that karmic cycle is is closing out and, and knowing that, um, you know, whatever makes you happy in life, it, you sh it shouldn't matter what other people think or feel about your connection, okay? Unless it's abusive, unless it has something to do that it, that um, requires, you know, your life is on the line. I, yeah, of course, I, I, I agree with people intervening, right? But right now, there's a divine intervention going on. So, like I said, this is, <laughs> judgment has been popping out in so many readings. Um, it's very quite often. So there's a lot of judgment calls going on. This is Archangel Gabriel sounding the horn, right? So, hey. Okay. Anything else? Oh, all right. All right. Hold on. They are trying to jump. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, the, the seven of swords was trying to jump. So a lot of sneaky behavior could be. Trying to come into play, like I said, um, darker energies, people who, you know, you have to be very careful on who you're listening to at this point in time, who you're choosing to go to as far as advice-wise. Um, use your discernment. Use your intuition, okay? Um, people are starting to be exposed for who they truly are at this point in time. Like I said, there's a big uh, spiritual flashlight that's going on. 
that's being shown. So people, places and things are being shown to you or exposed to you um, exactly for what they are. And it's up to you if you want to keep that in your life or if you want to um, get rid of it, okay? You have free will. You have the choice, right? But um, to who I'm speaking to as far as the twin flame journey, you do have free will, right? You could, you could uh, go off this path, you know, people are going to start... Uh, you're going to start hearing of people quitting this journey. You're going to hear people saying, all right, fuck this, I'm out, you know. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> and uh, one thing for sure, though, is, like I said in my previous video, either this is a new connection that's going to be coming in or it's going to be someone from the past, okay? Okay. And when I mean by past, I mean either you guys were in a past life together and you guys haven't met in this lifetime, or you guys were, you know, past lovers in a life, like different lifetimes, and you guys already met in this lifetime, and this person is coming back to you. And I'm talking about the Divine Masculine is trying to come back, okay? 11-11. Um, <laughs> On the clock. Page of one. Oh, shit. Uh. Fine. Fine. Since the, seven, since the Seven of Swords wants to come out so much, and with the freaking devil, which is upside down, by the way. Yep. So this person, this person, they want me to read this reversed. Because this person, it could be no more. This could already ended, right? But this person is working, which is the Divine Masculine or the Divine Feminine as well. Uh, but especially the Divine Masculine, I'm, I'm pulling energy-wise is walking away from this devil deceit energy from deceiving um from uh wearing the mask it's it's all about i think this person wants to walk away from this type of uh behavior um these old patterns the old cycle okay the devil energies like i said dark energies they have been popping out quite often i said that they will try to intervene and make you think and give you illusions right because the devil is all about illusions all about um, trickery, right? Um, and I'm not talking about the actual devil. I'm just talking about dark energy wise, okay? But this is, like I said, walking away. And I mentioned the new moon in Scorpio is coming soon. So, let's see that reverse. I feel like the devil energy is just, ah, there will be no more pretty soon. Or it's already in the past. Or um, this already happened. This already ended. This is ending or it will end, okay? And like I said, it's ending. There's a death. This is Scorpio season. First day of Scorpio season, guys, by the way. Happy birthday to Scorpios. Um, but this is definitely an important card right here. <laughs> just, it's, it's just perfect right now. Like I, <clears throat> But there has to be an end, a death to the old. Like I said, devil energies will try to come in and intervene, right? But uh, it, it will try to make you, it'll fuck with you. And it will make you think, should I, should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go? Is this the person um, or not? Like, it's going to fuck with you. It's going to make you question your sanity. It's going to make you, like I said, illusions. Like I said, in order to get past the illusions, you're going to have to use blind faith, which is why she has... Which is why she has the blindfold on, right? She's going to have to make a blind faith decision on on um, on the sleep of faith of cutting this out, of walking away, okay? Um, so, but this person, nonetheless, the Divine Masculine is working hard, okay, towards this new beginning, towards bringing this this new offer, okay? Oi, hoi, hoi. Okay, is there anything else that you'd like me to know, Spirit? This is the Divine Masculine. Is there anything that Divine Masculine wants us, the Divine Feminines, to know personally? Divine Masculine, I know that you want to bring in this new offer of love. Is there anything else that you want us to know? Don't be shy, boo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you, Divine Masculine. Love you. Okay, look at the Lovers card. Isn't that beautiful? And this came out in the in the last um, reading that I did. Again, working hard, working working diligently. This the, this Divine Masculine, the, the the this group that I'm channeling right now, um, is is 
working hard, okay, towards bringing this new beginning. However, they're they're fighting off this negative energy. That goes for Divine Feminists too. You are also dealing with crossroad energy and having to um, make a decision on letting go of this devil energy or letting go of this dark energy, right? And um, also letting go of the past hurt from the deceit that the Divine Masculine did from the past, okay? It's also letting go of, of, of whatever this was, the trickery, um, the, the, the betrayal, um, you know, the, the cheating, the infidelity that probably went on, you know, um, but it doesn't even have to be karmic. It doesn't even have to be a relationship. It can be addictions. It can be a person, place, or thing. It can be family, friends, whatever that could be blocking or interfering with this union from coming in. It's about releasing and letting go of this and in order to bring in the new, right? And the fact that um, Divine Masculine <laughs> wanted to pop out, or Spirit wanted to pop out the, the Lover's card. It can't be. Like the Divine, like I said, they have their, their hands in this. This is pretty much a repeat of exactly what the previous reading was going on. However, I feel like a lot of this, this deceitful energy, a lot of this heavy energy is coming to a close pretty soon, okay? And I feel like there has been a shift within these th this, this uh, group of Divine Masculines where they do want this union. Um, right now, I'm not seeing a lot of action being taken uh, so, so far it's a lot of emotions and thoughts right now um, so <laughs> thoughts and feelings right but I feel like in due time in divine timing there will be <clears throat> there will be action taken in order to to achieve this lover so um, again it's like I said from the last video it's it's that crossroad energy having to come between and uh, choose between if I want to stay with the light or the dark you know um, also Let's see, we have um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy out here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, and uh, Gemini. Yep, Gemini, definitely. So, yeah, and also Virgo, Taurus. Yep. So pretty much the whole shebang, the whole people, everybody. <laughs> so this is beautiful. This is, this is nice. Um, thank you. So, okay. So, um, let's see, what else should we ask? Is there anything that you would like us for us to know, um, Divine Feminine? Like, is there anything that Divine Feminine would like the Divine Masculine to know, uh, personally? Is there any messages that Divine Feminine would like for the Divine Masculine to know? Please and thank you. Anything for the Divine Masculine to know? From the, oh, from the Divine Feminine. Queen of Cups. <laughs> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So the Queen of Cups, of course, is water energy, nurturing energy, also loving energy, unconditional love. Um, could have water in your chart, Divine Feminine. He could have a water in his chart. Doesn't matter if the gender, right? It's all labels. However, I feel like this Divine Feminine has a lot of love for the Divine Masculine. Um, she not only, you know, she's, this is emotions. This is, this is love, you know? When I see the Queen of Cups and she carries that cup, it represents to me like the Ace of Cups. Like her cup is just, you know, overflowing. But at the same time, you know, she's still standing in her right. Um, she's still standing on her throne. She does look a little unhappy though. So you could be impatient, Divine Feminine. You, you could be dealing with impatient energy is what I'm saying. So try not to get into that lower vibrational energy where um, of impatience and, you know, um, having really high expectations and just go with the flow, you know, like I said in my previous video, be like water, go with the flow, um, adapt, right? It's all about how you react to certain things and your reaction to, to things, right? So Queen of Cups, I feel like there's a lot of loving energy coming out um, for the Divine Masculine right now. So that's pretty good. Either that or he could see you as the Queen of Cups, you know. Oh my God, I split the deck. <laughs> and the counterpart, King of Cups. <laughs> oh, goodness. We all know the King of Cups is like, he's, you know. All the kings are beautiful, right? Again, at the bottom of the deck, King of Cups. Someone that is, of course, has a lot of love to give, a lot of love to offer. However, King of Cups is also known for um, not showing it on his face. So he's a very stern character. He's uh, This could resonate with some Divine Masculines out there. They don't really show emotions on their face so much. They just more so keep it on the inside. They're like the type... 
this divine masculines are like the type where they will not show their emotions on the outside but on the inside they're like oh my god oh my god i i love her i love her so much oh my god oh my god i just want to like shower with love oh my god, oh my god and then but on the outside they're just like what's up what's up <laughs> nothing you good <laughs> you know it's like <laughs> okay my camera cut off. Yeah, so like as I was saying, the King of Cups, he's someone that doesn't really show his emotions, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, we, yeah. And I think, but he has nonetheless a lot of love to give, right? I would be concerned if it was upside down, right? But, you know, they're telling me to read it upside up. And um, like I said, there's a lot of love between these two. They're the counterparts, but... Yep, 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 yep. All right. All right, so Spirit, is there anything? Like I said, I'm going to end this off. This, I always say I'm going to do a short reading, and it turns out to be a very fucking long-ass reading. Like I said, I just do whatever Spirit asks me to do. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not in charge here, so. <laughs> okay, Spirit, so what is it? Okay, is there something that she would like? Is there an outcome to be expected? Or, because I'm pretty sure the outcome is this, because the... You know, overall energy of this reading is the Four of Wands, which is 1111 Union. Um, so, Spirit, is there something that you would like for us to know as a collective? Um, for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Oh my god. Ah. Ah. Okay. One more card, please. One more card, please. Yeah. So what caught my eye was not only the Two of Cups and the Two of Wands. Two, two. Four. <laughs> 11, 11. Funny. Um, two has been very prominent in this reading. So again, if you have been seeing two, 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 not only do we have three of them here, which makes it even more powerful right now. Like I said, dualities, balance, um, wanting things to be restored, having to, um, you know, like I said, balance, wanting reciprocity, uh, two of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So, but right now, this person is like, you know, waiting, right? This person, <laughs> the thing is, is that this person is waiting for this two of cups for this union and wants this. They want this, right? However, um, someone is being defensive, whether that be divine feminine or divine masculine. I feel like divine masculine because I stated in my previous video that the divine masculine has um, been more in the like fighting off his ego so in a way or he could be fighting off those who are trying to oppose this connection um, and defending the the union overall defending this two of cups defending the union of you both so um, people could be talking shit and he could be like standing up and saying uh no <laughs> um, excuse me you know um, he could be standing up for you divine feminine especially towards these devil energies um um, these third party energies and stuff like that because earlier we we got the five of wands um, at the bottom of the deck earlier but yeah so this there either that either he's defending this connection this this overall union which I feel like he is I feel like he's being protective of you divine feminine I feel like there's a lot of things behind the scenes that because um, a lot of you know things were not discussed or talked about or communicated especially if you're in no communication I feel like this collective of uh, in particular is in no communication right in no contact right now um, but I feel like contact and communication will be coming in because I did see the eight of wands earlier right so he could be wanting to protect this union, to protect this connection. Um, there could be a lot of things going on behind the scenes, like especially when it comes to this energy right here, the devil energy. Um, or it could have already been, you know, um, ended, you know, and there has to be more of a recovery time. Or he could be defensive on wanting to come in and offer this new beginning, either or, right? Take what resonates. But uh, Spirit really wanted to make it clear that overall the outcome is is that this person um, is waiting, you know, um, 
taking a good look, taking a, a step back approach, is balancing, learning to balance things out, and um, is being defensive right now towards this Two of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Three of Wands, which is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, which is waiting for your ships to come in. Um, so this person could be waiting for possibly finances, maybe money, maybe even waiting for certain cycles to close out. So this person could be also, it's a waiting game. Like I said, this was in the previous video. So everything that, <laughs> this whole reading is pretty much another confirmation of, of the reading that I did before. Um, so yeah, so if you feel guided to, I will also link everything below in the description box. If you feel guided to watch this, if this is resonating for you, okay? Um... Overall, I feel like a lot, it was a beautiful reading. Like, it's really nice cards. Um, like I said, just things are being worked out behind the scenes right now. Um, things you might not be seeing it physically right now. Um, but that is why temperance is needed. Like, the temperance card is right now is showing up in my mind vision uh, wise. But there has to be a death to the old. And the fact that Scorpio season is now starting. Today's the first uh, day of Scorpio. Today's the 23rd. Um, this could be starting pretty soon. Fairly soon. Fairly soon, if you ask me. It could be happening during this season all the way on towards Sagittarius and then 2020 then on, you know, because I'm seeing the Judgment card. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to take... I feel guided to take three more cards and then I'll end this reading, okay? Hey! <laughs> One more. Hey. Oh, cards that fall. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. Right as I was talking about temperance. <laughs> Sagittarius energy. Like I said, patience is needed, okay? All this is going to be in divine timing. Um, <clears throat> this is my Archangel um, Michael card. A lot of people like to say Archangel Raphael, you know, um, because of the cup energy, the heart energy, and everything like that. It could be Archangel Raphael or Archangel Michael, either or. Um, but this is the, the, the angel, like I said, that's coming in to fix, to restore balance within the connection, okay? Like I said, the divine has their hands heavy into this connection, so have faith. Believe, like, like I said, the devil energy Energies will try to create illusions within your head that oh this this connection is not gonna work out oh this union is not gonna work out oh this is not gonna work out I'm never gonna get out of this this devil energy yeah no the devil wants you to think that okay and what I mean by the devil I don't really believe in the actual devil I just believe in the actual energy like the dark energy seven one seven by the way <laughs> twin flame number um, the temperance card very important divine timing. Patience is needed, okay? This is a divine connection, a divine, uh, especially if you're a twin flame on the twin flame journey. This, it takes patience, especially for divine feminine. That is the biggest test of it all. Divine feminines, this really applies to you, okay? Divine timing, patience, all right? Especially if you're a fire sign like me. Patience is like a fucking foreign concept. <laughs> So, um, yes, patience for this new beginning, Ace of Wands. And also, it's my King Dangling card, so Divine Masculine, you could be packing <laughs> um, down there. but Or it could be a lot of passion going on. Mm. Yep. Yep. And that's the thing, that could be... Um... Yeah, I won't get into that. I am feeling sexual energy. That's the thing with Scorpio season, though. Be aware that there will be a lot of sexual energy going on right now. So, um, a lot of tantric sex, a lot of um, sex magic that are, that is going on that's going to be heavily in the air. A lot of fertility, um, <laughs> fertility uh, pheromones and all that's going to be in the air, by the way. Just, just saying. Because, you know, the devil's not always, like, negative. This card can also be positive. There could be, like, a lot of passion included. This person could have, like, a lot of sexual energy, a lot of passion for you, um, or can see you as, like, very, like, you know... Someone that can see you as like one of, you know, someone that's very passionate in bed. Let's just say that. <laughs> I don't know why that took me a while to get that out. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. But yes, patience is needed for this new beginning. And the last one that popped out was the Queen of Swords. So Divine Feminines, this really applies to you. Like I said, 
divine feminines, you're going to have to um, at least stay high vibrational, try not to be in this queen of swords energy, right? Um, but also learn to cut out people, places, and things, this negative energy that's no longer serving you, put a death to the old, and use a discernment, right? And speak your truth, right? So when, when the divine masculine does come in, and when he is ready to come in, right, you're going to have to use your discernment on... Um, on whether you want to embark on this new journey or not okay that's your decision it's free will um, it's your choice if you want to cut out and start uh, you know a new connection or not it's your choice right I feel like at the end of the day the divine feminine right now um, since she's been standing in her power and everything with that focusing on her um, she's she's more so gonna have to listen to the divine use her intuition in order to make this decision um, yeah so Stay in your power, okay? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could have that in your chart, Divine Feminine. You know, male or fe female, doesn't matter. Um, and so at the bottom of the deck, we have Three of Cups. So celebration, happy times, um, coming together. Um, when I think of the Three of Cups, I also think of Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and um, the, the actual Divine, the, the Spirit Guides, the Angels, Ancestors, Creator, together making the trio of one. Um, also, 333 is very prominent, like I said, fertility energy. Um, it also could also represent that uh, cutting out third-party energies. So it could be meaning like an end to third-party energies or if there was a third party that was... Um, you know, included into your connection, whether that be a person, place, or thing. Um, it could be an actual uh, person. Um, this person, um, it could also be, uh, they could also have, the, you know, the karmic, the person that they're dealing with right now could also have um, air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, or water, either or. Um, or this could be you, vice versa, it doesn't matter, okay? Whatever applies or whatever re resonates. Oh my god, and I moved the Three of Cups, and guess what the bottom is the Ten of Cups? That's beautiful. Oh my gosh, and we came this in, the, in our last reading. Like I said, rainbow, the promise. There will be happier times. Um, marriage, kids, this person wants that. Um, completion, Ten, Union, Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. Wow. So this person, yes, definitely wants to end you know all these third party situations wants to cut this out in divine timing um wants to offer this wants this ten of cups wants this this new beginning um so that's beautiful oh my gosh wow 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 that is that's lovely Okay, so I'm going to end it here. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more that, you know, information that goes in. I can I can literally read for days, for hours. I can read, like, for a whole day if I really wanted to. Uh, but I will not do that, unfortunately. Nope, 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 nope. So overall, um, the overall energy of this reading was the 1111, like I said. So if you feel guided to watch my previous video, video um, for this, please do. Um, if you feel guided to. Um, if not, then I also have previous readings that also kind of tie into this as well. Could be a different uh, collective that I'm channeling right now. However, this does clarify everything that I was talking about earlier in my video. So if you are seeing 1111, I'm seeing unions are starting to commence now that it's Scorpio season. And there's a lot of death to the old, like I said, transformation. So my battery is about to die, so perfect timing. <laughs> so sending love and light to you guys, to the whole collective. Hopefully it resonates to someone out there. If not, I'm sorry. Maybe come back in the future. Maybe it will. Um, it, people are on different parts of the journey, okay? So... Wishing you love and light. Hoping that you have a beautiful day, night, wherever you may be. Okay? And thank you so much for listening and, and, and you know, staying this long for me, um, if you have. So, go ahead, subscribe, like, and share if you feel guided to. So, good night, guys. Peace. See you in my next video.